Erica Johnson. 4M. Shared with public. Fast and Furious 13, Vengeance Unleashed. Scene 1, Suki's Return. The scene opens in a dimly lit room cluttered with old electronics and scattered papers. Suki, dressed in a tactical outfit, sits at a makeshift desk, her face illuminated by the glow of multiple screens. She's been working undercover, hidden from the world as she gathers intelligence. Her expression is focused as she navigates through encrypted files. Suki, muttering to herself, come on, come on, just a little more. Her phone buzzes with an incoming call. It's a secure line, and the screen displays a call from Dominic Toretto. Suki takes a deep breath and answers. Suki, Toretto, it's been a while. Dominic Toretto, voice over the phone, Suki, where have you been? We could use your help. Suki, I've been gathering intel on a major threat. There's a new player in town, Kane. His operation is growing fast, and it's more dangerous than we anticipated. Dominic Toretto, we're in the dark on this one. Can you meet us? Suki, I'll be there. I'm just a few steps away. Scene 2, The Reunion. Later that evening, Dominic Toretto and Letty Ortiz are at their safe house, a secure location filled with high-tech equipment. The room is bathed in a soft blue light from various monitors and displays. They're reviewing surveillance footage when Suki arrives. Suki, walking in, I've been tracking Kane's movements. He's planning something big, and we need to stop him. Dominic Toretto, standing up, good to see you back. What have you got for us? Suki, Kane's operation involves a powerful weapon. If he activates it, he'll have control over the city's infrastructure. Letty Ortiz, we need to find out where and when he's planning to activate it. Suki, I've tracked down a lead. He's hosting a high-profile event tonight at a penthouse downtown. We need to get in and find out what's going on. Scene 3, The Undercover Operation. The team arrives at the upscale penthouse, which is bustling with affluent guests. The setting is opulent, with crystal chandeliers casting reflections on the marble floors. Dominic, Letty, and Suki blend in with the crowd, dressed in formal attire. Dominic Toretto, whispering to Letty, we need to keep our eyes open. Kane should be around here somewhere. Letty Ortiz, nodding, stay sharp. We don't know what we're up against. Suki, heading to a discreet corner, I'll tap into the building's security system and see if I can locate Kane's private meeting room. Scene 4, The Hidden Room. Suki, using her laptop, hacks into the security system. She guides Dominic and Letty through the building's corridors, avoiding security cameras and guards. They reach a concealed door behind a bookcase. Suki, through the earpiece, the hidden room is just ahead. There's a panel on the side of the bookcase. Use the code I sent you to unlock it. Dominic Toretto, entering the room, got it. We're in. Inside the hidden room, the walls are lined with sophisticated equipment and blueprints. Kane stands at a large table, surrounded by his henchmen, discussing the weapons activation. Kane, tonight, we finaleize the weapons activation. With it, we'll control the entire city's power. Scene 5 The Disruption Letty creates a diversion by setting off a series of small explosions in the boiler room. The noise and chaos cause guests to panic and scramble, providing a cover for Dominic and Suki to gather information. Letty Ortiz, over the comms, I've got everyone's attention. Move now. Dominic Toretto, searching through the documents, I found the activation codes. We need to get these back to the control center. Scene 6, The High Speed Chase. Dominic and Letty race through the city streets, the neon lights reflecting off their cars as they evade Kane's remaining forces. The chase is intense, with high-speed maneuvers and daring turns. Letty Ortiz, they're closing in, we need to shake them off. Dominic Toretto, hold on. I've got a plan. Dominic performs a series of tactical moves, disabling their pursuers' vehicles and creating a path to the control center. Scene 7 the control center. Arriving at the high-tech control center, Dominic and Letty find it heavily guarded. The facility is a maze of metal and glass, with security systems and armed guards. 
Dominic Toretto, Toletti, I'll handle the security systems. You cover me. Letty Ortiz, taking position, got it. Just make it quick. Dominic uses the activation codes to access the facility's controls, while Letty fights off the guards. Scene 8, the final confrontation. Kane arrives at the control center, furious at the interruption. He and Dominic engage in a fierce battle amidst the control room's flashing lights and alarms. Kane, you think you can stop me? This city will fall under my control. Dominic Toretto, not if I can help it. This ends here. The fight is intense, with Kane and Dominic using the control center's equipment to their advantage. Letty disables the weapon, preventing its activation. Scene 9, the epilogue. Back at their headquarters, the team celebrates their victory. The room is warm and inviting, with the city skyline visible through the large windows. The group reflects on their journey and their victory over Kane. Dominic Toretto, we did it. The city's safe, and Kane's plans are foiled. Letty Ortiz, and we're all still standing, ready for whatever comes next. Suki, smiling, Kane's network is dismantled. We've earned a moment to relax. They share a meal and discuss their next steps, their camaraderie evident in their interactions. Scene 10, the closing scene. As night falls, Dominic, Letty, and Suki take a quiet walk through the city. The streets are softly lit, creating a serene atmosphere. They reflect on their experiences and their bond as a team. Dominic Toretto, no matter what challenges come next, we face them together. Letty Ortiz, always. Here's to new beginnings. Suki, and to whatever adventures lie ahead. Their silhouettes merge with the city's peaceful nightscape as the screen fades to black. Like. Comment. Share.